Hi there guys, Phil Short here with Victory Amplifiers. Today I'm going to take you guys through the V130, the Super Jack. So this amp is an amazing two channel 100 watt beast. So we've got a clean and overdrive channel and there are four modes. So we've got a clean and a crunch and then we've got overdrive one and overdrive two and all four of those sounds are foot switchable. And you'll also see on the front panel that we've got these uh, dip switches just here, voice one and voice two for the overdrive and just hiding under there is the clean crunch switch that we've got there. It is a 6L6 power section and it's 100 watts or 30 watts in a low power mode. We also have a series effects loop, which is a really clear high headroom effects loop. So even at loud volumes, and I'm running the amps fairly hot today, we get a really crystal clean um, effects loop, which is perfect for your reverbs and delays. There's no kind of crackling or distorting of the effects which can happen in some amplifiers. So that's super, super cool. We've got independent master controls, one for the overdrive channel and one for the clean channel so you can get your sounds balanced really, really well. So that's uh, really, really great. Uh, and on the back, we have external bias points as well. So if you're on the road or in your valves go down, it's dead easy to just pop some new valves in and safely um, reset your bias as well, which is really, really cool. Now to capture all the tones today, we are running two of these heads in stereo and we are going into a pair of Captor X's that are just here in the rack. And we are using a Vintage 30 Impulse Response by Nolly Get Good, which is part of the new Cali IR pack that they've just released, which is a fantastic, really natural sounding Vintage 30. Sounds and feels really good, just like playing through the real cabinets that Victory make. So that is super, super awesome. So that's what you're hearing today. So let's get into some tones. So let's talk about this clean channel first. The clean channel is a really, really flexible, super high headroom clean channel. So if you want it to be crystal clean all the way up to really loud volumes, it's really, really easy to do that thanks to the 100 watt power section. That's what 100 watts affords you, loads of headroom. So uh, you can do that or you can push the, uh, the gain pot for the clean channel around so that it's a little bit crunchy, a little bit dirty, edge of breakup type things. So it's a little bit of a tip of the hat towards the type of V40 style uh, clean. I would say it's um, still chimier than the V40. So it has its own, uh, own flavor, but it's kind of a, a nod towards that direction. Then uh, the crunch channel also shares the same uh, gain control. So for me, I find having it around here with these low output pickups in this guitar works perfectly because I get a little bit of edge of breakup with it this far around. And then the crunch is uh, nice and chewy and um, you know sounds like a really good classic rock tone basically. And if you kick the front end of that with a tube screamer, then uh, you're laughing, it's really great. And then as we'll hear the overdrive channel, overdrive channel one, uh, kind of picks up where that left off really and it's kind of akin to the Kraken. Um, it's a little bit different, it's uh, not maybe quite as modern so that suits me uh, really well. It's a little bit more rock orientated and maybe less metal orientated 
Um, but it's, it's a really great sound, super tight, very, very articulate, uh, really kind of crisp, very dynamic as well. Even though it's high gain, there's, there's still a lot of dynamics to your pick attack and things. And then Voice 2 is the original, uh, the original V30 overdrive sound. So it's got a smoother top end and lots and lots of bass, uh, a lot more um, kind of lower mids and stuff as well. So a really kind of thick, very warm, fat lead tone. So uh, if you tune down, you're probably not going to use that sound quite so much. But if you've got a bright guitar and you're playing mostly lead parts, then that's going to work really, really well. You know, it can sound a little bit muddy for low chords, uh, but it's an awesome sound as you'll hear a little bit later on. So let's have a listen to um, this clean channel first. So we've got it with just a clean channel with no pedals, no compressor or anything like that. So with the gain control set 75% of the way around, uh, on the single coils, we'll get this really nice chime and then it'll be a little bit crunchy on the humbucker. So this is what that sounds like. Okay, so that's what the clean channel sounds like. So let's just go through the pot. So very, very clean, no kind of crunch to it. I prefer it with a little bit of crunch. I think it gives a little bit more character. Obviously we've lost a little bit of volume as well and we'd need to compensate with that. Uh, so I reckon for me, with these pickups not being particularly powerful, around here is where you really kind of start to hear the tone wake up. And let's hear that with a little bit of compression as well. Awesome sounding clean channel, sounds really, really good. So I'm gonna kick in the crunch channel, leaving the settings exactly as they are. And this is the tone that we'll get. So you can hear sounds really, really fat, really broad and open. I have to dig in quite hard to get it to break up, but it's really dynamic as well. So let's kind of listen to that same tone, but playing with a lot more pick dynamics. <laughs> Really, really awesome sounding tone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the front end of that sound with a tube screamer with an 808, and we're gonna have the level riding pretty hard, about 75% of the way round with the gain just up a little bit, you know, only at about nine o'clock, so 15% with the tone at noon. And this is what that is gonna sound like. <laughs> Ah! 
So really raw, really raw and punchy. Now, Overdrive 1 kind of carries on from where that left off. So let's have a listen to Overdrive 1. <laughs> Cool, so that's Overdrive 1, really, really articulate sounding. So let's hear a little bit more of that. We're going to hear that with a little bit of the timeline delay in the loop as well, so we'll hear a nice bit of stereo delay. And I'm going to flick on the voice 2 partway through as well, so you'll be able to hear kind of the difference between those two sounds. So let's check that out. <laughs> Cool, so those are kind of the core tones of the amp. Really, really awesome sounding tones. Now, the other thing I really love about this amp is that the clean channel takes pedals really, really, really well. Even in this position here where we've got the gain set fairly high on the clean channel, pedals just sound fantastic. So if you needed like a lower gain type of tone or a more saturated uh, tone that was less sort of rock orientated, more for, you know, like a, a fusion-y or a blues fusion type sound, or just something that was a little bit softer, has less of that kind of uh, rock edge to it, then using the clean channel with overdrive pedals just works incredibly well. So you, if you've got like a board with loads of different pedals, maybe you've got a switcher on there as well, like a Boss G3, uh, sorry, an ES8, or a, a Gig Rig uh, G3, something of that nature, then you're gonna have a super, super versatile uh, rig with loads of incredible tones available. So let's have a listen to the clean channel with um, a little bit of mild overdrive from the Strymon Sunset. I've also got a bit of delay in the loop, uh, a little bit of reverb from the big sky, and there's a tiny, tiny amount of uh, tremolo modulation from the Mobius as well. So let's have a listen to how that sounds.
So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, enjoyed this little overview with me of the V130. I will leave you with a couple more clips of some awesome tones and I will catch you next time.